The star of the show is the clematis bush, and the bees are going wild over this. Isn't it gorgeous, guys? Even as they're opening, they're beautiful. This stunning plant was given to me three years ago by my friend Lori, and I don't do much to it. Basically put a little compost at the base every spring and it just keeps performing. I never prune it. I don't actually do any work to keep up this amazing show that comes every spring. It's pretty amazing. Right next to it we have some beautiful bearded iris. Look at the golden iris here. Just gorgeous. I think it goes really well with the purplish burgundy one too. It has some gold accents. So this was a mix I got off eBay about two years ago. Even the, the few irises over there that I transplanted have some buds shooting out of the middle. So I'm hopeful about that. My garden ornaments are getting swallowed up by the stone crop sedum. This is getting tall and it's about to bloom. It's a bright yellow when it blooms, so stay tuned for that. Here's an aerial view of our pretty blooming corner. And as you can see, the marigolds have settled really nicely into that new raised bed. Everything is growing exponentially in there. So that should be spectacular all summer because those are great in the summer heat. But I'm so pleased with this corner. Just gorgeous. And I'll tell you what, the violas have been spectacular. I planted these last fall and enjoyed the blooms then, and they came back full force this spring and have been blooming for weeks. I love them, and I just read that they're perennials, and I've seen that they've seeded themselves around the base in the pot. So I am definitely gonna have more violas next year. And you'll have to pardon the noise, we have some building two houses down. That's the way it goes in a suburban garden. Another fantastic show of violas. I keep showing these week after week, and I, I tell you, the shelf life on these is really long. I'm thrilled with them. The cooler weather really stresses the plant, but in turn, that brings out this beautiful variegation on the leaves. So pretty. All of the hostas have come up all around the yard, and my favorite ones are the variegated ones. Isn't that beautiful? This is right at the entrance to my backyard, right next to our gate. They're just spectacular. And oh, and my friend Lori gave me these as well. So I have lots of these all over the garden. They're so pretty. And I've neatened up this bed next to the driveway. I love this bed. I have miscanthus grasses coming to life in the back. And I pruned up my variegated boxwood. And I have some salvia in between all of the topiaries and my mother of thyme. It's a creeping thyme ground cover is spreading amazingly and I added some new cuttings in between and they have all taken. So I think by this time next year the entire front will be covered with the creeping thyme. And creeping thyme gets amazing pinkish red flowers uh, coming up soon, probably in June, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the one problem I do have is that the variegated boxwood got quite defoliated this winter, so I don't know if it's a boxwood blight or if maybe aphids came in, but uh, when I trimmed them back, I really noticed they were very sparse, and they had browned out quite a bit too. So we'll see if they bounce back. I'm not going to treat them for anything just yet. I'm going to give them a chance to bounce back on their own and hopefully with a little sunshine and pruning 
and I did put compost around the base. Hopefully they'll come back to life. And oh my goodness, I just noticed I'm probably impinging on someone's home here. There's a bird's nest, a very new, newly built bird's nest right here up in the carport. So that is so exciting. I wonder what's, what's there. I have heard a dove uh, flying away quickly, so maybe it's a dove's nest. Isn't this exciting, guys? Spring and baby birds. What a wonderful time of year. So thanks so much for watching and uh, my no somewhat noisy and cloudy. Look at those ominous clouds, guys. Just wanted to show you what's new and exciting in my spring garden this week. And I hope you're having fun in your gardens. I'll see you next time.